Hi, this is Craig with SMB. Uh, today we're going to be doing the install on a 2024 Razor 1000. Um, should have gotten install card with your kit. You're going to scan this for the install instructions. Right, we're going to start by if you have accessories in the in the rear of your car, we're going to want to remove all these accessories and we're going to mount the separator housing to the rear bar first. Okay, we're going to start by putting the adapter uh, bracket onto the side of the particle separator using the M6 hardware and a number five uh, hex key. We're going to want to put Loctite on these threads. Just a little dab. We're going to use our M6 washers and these will install to the side of the separator to mount the, heart, to mount the mounting brackets. Now that we got the adapter plate secured to the, uh, the housing, we're going to bring this over here and we're going to determine where the position is. So we'll put our straps on and kind of determine how far you want it sitting. And then we'll put our, we'll put our straps onto the bar using uh, some plastic here so that it doesn't scratch. Yeah, this is kind of a trick to, so that you don't scratch your bar. You're going to want to take your, your straps, pop them over this plastic, and then slide the plastic out. We'll do that to the other side. All right, now that we got the straps on there, we're going on the bottom bar so we're going to use our inch and a half straps we also supply inch and three quarter straps if you want to mount it to the upper bar um, we're going to mount the pivot body and the l bracket to the to the strap here using our long um, m8 bolts washers and and nylock nuts we're going to run that through there you can kind of see there we're going to put another washer and lock nut on the other side. You can kind of leave this loose for now. We're gonna we're gonna want to mount our L bracket to the other side of this pivot body. You kind of leave everything loose. We'll get it all get this separator housing mounted up uh, to the to the height we need and then tighten everything down. All right when you mount the uh, Separator housing you'll probably need somebody else to give you a hand and kind of level it out to make sure that You're happy with the position um, For this one, what do you think we'll probably just go to this middle location read? So again Loctite on these bolts And then get the clocking, get the clocking so that the that the separator sits horizontal. Okay, once you're satisfied with the position, you're gonna want to tighten the tighten the hardware at the at the strap, at the pivot body, and then retighten at the uh, adapter. We're gonna tighten that one, tighten the pivot body. It's good to have somebody else holding the other side while you do this step. Everything's secure on that side. We're gonna to go to the other side. Do the same thing here. All right, we're gonna remove the factory inlet cover here. This is a T T40 Torx bit. Remove this screw here, and then underneath there's a hose clamp connecting the factory duct. We're going to remove that hose clamp, and then this piece will slide off. All right, with the hose clamp disconnected underneath, we're going to slide this cover off and replace it with the SMB. We're going to use that same screw that we removed to mount the SMB cover.
All right, with the side cover installed, we're gonna install the hose coupler here. You can tighten this hose clamp. And then we're going to determine the length of our, based on where you have this mounted, we're gonna determine the length that we want the ducting. So you can kind of run it through, get an idea of, of where that's going to end up, and we're going to make a cut on the ducting. Okay, next we're going to, we're going to install the zip tie here into the hole on the inside wall of the plate, and we're going to make a loop, and that loop is going to support our Velcro that's going to secure the ducting through the through the hole here. So run it about there. Um, you're going to have Velcro here that's going to wrap around and hold the ducting to the inside of this adapter piece. Okay, next we're going to put the the uh, the duct coupling on the on the bottom side here. Put a clamp, and then we're going to um, we're going to run this through side adapter and mount it onto the coupler here and then we'll tighten this clamp. Okay, we made sure our uh, ducting is secured to the coupler here. And we're going to pull this up to where the coupler is inside, probably about to the bottom here. And then we're going to secure the tube to the hose clamp that was installed earlier. Or, I'm sorry, to the zip tie that was installed earlier. And then we're going to route the rest of the ducting to determine where we're going to cut the other end. Make sure that the ho the ducting is in there. Bring this all the way onto the housing. Tighten your hose clamp. Okay, after you secure the end at the separator housing, come back through. You want to make sure that all the Velcro is taut, all the hose clamps are secure, and you're satisfied with the position. All right, next, to wire the particle separator, we're gonna to wanna to remove all four seats 
or two seats if it's a two seater. You make it easy with these nice latches here. We're going to want to access that center console to run the wiring back to the particle separator. Okay, with all four seats removed, uh, we're going to start taking apart this center console, removing these push pins with a flathead screwdriver. And then using that T40 Torx, there's multiple screws along the center console. You'll need to remove two to access the front. We're going to remove this front hood piece uh, to expose the bus bar we're going to connect to. Still a couple more screws to remove this center console. There's one here back by the firewall on both sides will need to be removed. All right, next we're going to take our uh, wiring harness and we're going to go to the pulse bar. So there's a tab on the inside um, that you have to lift up and then on the side and then pull this plug out. The S and B will plug right into there. Make sure it clicks into position. Uh, this relay and fuse, you can kind of zip tie up out of the way and then run your extension wire back through the firewall all the way down the center console and this is going to power up the uh, separator. So you're going to want to run that the other end of the wire harness through a uh, through hole into the cab of the car. Um, have somebody down there, you can fish the wire through and then start putting it through the center console. All right, my buddy's just going to pull the access wire. You should have enough for a four-seater razor. Um, any extra you can bundle up towards the back of the car if you're not using it. And then with the, with the, uh, with the fuse and relay, we're just going to zip tie this to the, to the, uh, front like support okay so we ran we pulled the side of the the uh, center console out tucked this wire in ran it all the way through here just kept on tucking it in shot it right out through the back here brought it up through here right out by the uh, by the roll bar We'll connect it to the back. Next, we're gonna remove the remove the bed. There's four torque screws, one, two, three, four in the front, so we can access the ignition coil wire. All right, with those four screws removed, we're gonna remove the bed. Okay, we're gonna locate this. We're gonna locate this uh, ignition coil box. It's in the wheel well on the driver's side. We're gonna take our sensor, and it's gonna be zip tied to this to this flange here. The wire going up towards the top of the car, and zip ties will run right through this this flange. So run a couple of them through there and secure it to the ignition coil box.
Maybe run about three zip ties. Make sure this is good and tight on there. And then we'll snip the excess zip ties off. All right, after we got uh, everything plugged in, we'll do a dry run, start the car, make sure the fans are coming on, and we got the variable speed working correctly. All right, we got it all wired up. We got fan, we got air coming out. If you have it a couple revs, you'll see the see the fans. You'll hear them ramp up. Come back down. All right, we got the whole install complete. We're gonna put the uh, center console back together, put the seats back in, back panel, and you're off.